Okay, so I didn't really do any day three vlogging, but let's do it now, right? So I'm going to check out the gym, make sure that people have been re-racking their weights. It looks really clean in here. But somebody, of course, left a little mat here. So we're gonna pick that up and put that up. Um, I use re-racking as a part of my workout. Um, I never noticed that artwork over there. But, um, we got a lot of local art in here, which is cool. I'm not sure if these pieces are local, but I know that that is from a local artist. Um, it looks good in here, oh, besides this. When people do stuff like this, like, I can't, I can't reach up here and take that down, so guess what? No, I could. I'm not doing all that. It's gonna stay right there. It's fine. Somebody probably had their little arm day. Oh. Put this over here. So today, I really slept a lot today. That's what I did most of the day today. I slept because I've been working a lot of hours. Not at, like at different locations, on different things. You know, I'm a real estate agent, so I've been working a lot doing that. Um, this week, during Vlogmas, when the week starts, I work a lot on the weekends, but at the gym, but during the week, I do a lot of real estate stuff. So I'm doing a lot of tours. I'm doing a lot of real estate tours this week, so I will show y'all, take y'all into that. Um, and what else is going on this week? Oh, I have a table read this week for a play that I just got cast in, so that's exciting. Um, what else is happening this week? Um, I was pretty clean in here too. Ooh, let me see. It's so cold in here today. Let me put these up because people ghetto. That's why I try not to leave too much out. Forget it. Anyway, I really enjoy working at the gym because that's bad. That thing always there. I got all black ones, so you can't really see her, but you know, she did. But um, what I was gonna say. Oh, I like to get my workout in while I'm here. You know, I've been on uh, a 90 day. What do you call it? Like I call it 90 easy. So what what 90 easy is is I did 75 hard, right? And if you're not familiar with 75 hard, just type it in Google and it'll come up. But I don't like the term hard. I was reading a book that was talking about the correlation between percept or like perception basically. And hard is just like a perception. It's basically like, you know, hard is relative. Whatever you decide is hard, that's what's gonna be hard. If you decide it's easy, it's gonna be easy. And I just don't like to put the name like hard on things because a lot of times people are like, oh, I can't do it, it's so hard and it's like, Hardest relative, what is it? Set your mind to it, right? So I came up with 90 easy, which is instead of 75 days, it's now 90 days. And the other things that I added, so 75 hard is uh, drink a gallon of water, work out for two 45 minute workouts, one has to be outdoors, um, take a progress picture, no drinking alcohol, stick to a meal plan, read 10 pages of a book. So that's 75 hard. So 90 easy is all of those same things. It's a 90, but instead of saying two 45 minute workouts and one has to be outside, I just stick to 90 minutes of a workout and it can be two broken up 45 minutes, but it doesn't have to be outside because a lot of times my workouts are like classes. Like I take classes or, you know, my whatever, I might be whatever it, but I'm just always not outside always. It is good to be outside always, but you know, so it's just a 90 minute workout or two 45 minutes and the water intake is no longer a gallon for 90 easy it's more so based on your weight so i drink like at least a half a gallon a day based on my body weight um or actually like two-thirds of a gallon um and then it's still the 10 pages read 10 pages of a book but i also added journaling because journaling is important right so we added journaling in there and 
um, instead of just no alcohol, I'm also doing no marijuana intake or like any substances, like no shrooms or no, people be like, oh, what about edibles? No, none of that, it's none of that. So um, today is day like 65 for me. And it's created a lifestyle that I wanna keep, healthy habits. I replaced all my old habits with healthy habits. So now like it's imperative for me to work out every day. It's imperative for me to drink water every day. I no longer desire to drink alcohol, wine, any type of none of that. I don't smoke, you know, marijuana no more. And I'm so happy about that because now they also like lacing it with stuff. Like I heard that fentanyl might be in, I don't know whatever just be careful out there with whatever you do but i would just say just eliminate it if you can um my curls are still standing i'm a, i'm definitely going to a, do a vlogmas where i go through these curls with y'all and show y'all how i accomplish this look <laughs> this look been eaten but anyways um yeah that's i think that's all of my 90 easy I think it's all. But anyway, working at the gym is very helpful because I can always take like two classes, like do Pilates. Pilates will get you together. Let me tell you, your girl is working with a six pack now. Took a towel, took a towel, took a towel, towel, towel. Okay, it's not really giving six pack right now, but you know, you get the point. It's flat, flat, flat on flat, flat, stomach on flat, flat, ass on fat, fat. Anyways, let me continue to show you what happens when I'm working here. So I'm about to re-rack. So I'm gonna go up the stairs and I'm going to re-rack some weights. Looks like people have re-racked their weights today. Some people haven't. But literally you just take in the weights that people have left because they don't have gym etiquette. You take it off and you just put it up over there. And that is re-racking. But like this one, looks like they left half of it on and half of it off. So I'll re-rack that, re-rack that, re-rack that. Yay, the gym's kind of empty tonight. I live for that. Does that mean closing is going to be easy? I have to re-rack that one. I'll re-rack that one. And then I'll take these weights and put them in order. So, like we got 25, that's supposed to be like down here. Um, actually, yeah, this is supposed to be here. Oh no, that's a 30. That's a 30, but I can take this 20, put her there. I'll take this 30, put her down where the 30 is. Even though they're labeled, people still don't put them where they belong. 25 goes there. So those are all in order. Now these are definitely out of order, you can tell. Like why would you put 70s in the middle of 40s? They go way down there, people rude. But anyway, that's what re-rack is. So that's what I'm doing for my re-rack session, which I will also utilize as a workout. <laughs> 